Good morning, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Or welcome back to my channel. So this morning, Nisaba is making pancakes for everyone. So we've added flour, we've added milk, we've added some eggs and sugar. Make your chocolate look good. Is the texture good? Kind of. I have to give it a really good mix, Nussi. When you make cake, mm. you have to make it fluffy. Okay. To fluffy make... pancake. I saw some fluffy pancake that got made. Right, so we've got the grill on. What we're yeah. going to do, we've added a bit of butter on the grill. And we're going to get a deep spoon like this and add it to the butter. So a nice big pancake. Yes, okay, so let's put the um, heat up a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't burn yourself. And let's wait for Don't this to be done. Don't eat this, kids. Because you're really dangerous. Don't you might burn your finger off. Don't try this at home. Yeah. Can we see your face? Your hair is covering your face. Yeah. Chocolate syrup. So the saver's going to add some chocolate syrup to her pancake today. Yes. It's going to be nice and chocolatey, isn't it? For people. Okay. Let's give this a turn. Woo! Wow, that pancake. looks good. Some on here. I never seen you done homemade pancakes. You've never seen me do homemade pancakes. I always make homemade pancakes. You have to add flour, eggs, and a bit of butter. Mm -hmm. Not too much, cause that's gonna get the wheat away. Okay. And if you want some coloring inside, so Miss Eva's pancakes are done, and she's gonna add the chocolate syrup, guys. Oh. Like that looks delicious. Okay. Stop adding it to the plate then. You need to add it to the actual pancake. The real pancake. Okay, that's done. And a little bit right here. Okay, stop. So I'm it's... Was going to do a taste test for YouTube now, guys. It's really hard to cut. <laughs> oh dear. Careful with the chocolate syrup and your pyjamas. Bismillah. <laughs> How is it? Good. Is it really good? Mm. Mm. Ultimate breakfast, guys. Now, guys. And then we're going to make some for Asi as well. The thing about this grill is you can make a lot of like a big bulk amount so if you've got a big family it's perfect okay. whatever you're making you can make it in bulk yeah. guys my husband's home where's the bazaar I'm waiting. So my husband's got the goods today, guys. The really good stuff. Let's see what you got. Okay, let's see what you got. Put everything on the table. So let's see. We've got what's in this? Very good. Lamb. Yeah, lamb. Is it lamb chops? Lamb leg. Lamb leg. Okay. And we've got loads of chicken in here, guys. Is it medium or baby chicken? Medium chicken. Medium chickens in here. And we've got a lamb leg. And we've got a, a hobby hobby. And previously we also did get a butternut squash. So let's see what I cook the lamb with today. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is separating the meat. There's 20 pounds worth of meat in here. So we're going to eat this in two days, in two occasions, I mean. So I'm going to cook this much first today and we'll leave the rest for another day. We'll put this in the freezer. What I'm going to do is wash, cut, prep this for a yummy curry. Hey guys, so I've, um, I'm going to start with the cooking. Might as well get out of the way. Uh, we're going to start off cutting about 
three onions. Right, let's add the very ghost to the handi, put it on top of the cooker, put the gas up. I'm gonna add some salt now. We are going to add about this much salt. I am gonna taste it later on to see if there's enough salt. So we are going to add two chunks of garlic, two chunks of ginger, some bay leaves, some cardamom sticks and some cardamom sticks, cardamom, I always say that, and uh, cinnamon sticks, sorry. And add it all to the pot. And we are going to give this a good mix, cover it up for a good, I don't know, let's see, about half an hour. You know, keep checking up on it as well. And what we want is everything to go nice and soft and like well cooked. Then we are going to add the spices. And by the way, someone did mention they add oloid turmeric at this stage so today i am actually going to do that i've never done this i've not seen my uh, in-laws cook like this or even my mom so i'm gonna add some turmeric so we are adding a little bit of turmeric to the meat and let's see how this goes the meat is cooking nicely we are going to prepare the vegetable and today's curry i'm going to cook it with butternut squash this is so hard to cut by the way honestly and i usually oh my god and this is a really sharp knife so wow really hard and i have to be super careful because i'm very clumsy with the knife and look there's blood coming out of my nail now shit it's dead so how do i do this guys let me know in the comments if there's an easy way of cutting butternut squash because honestly i really don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna cut it in half first to make it easier to work with yeah. Yeah, shit. imagine i cut my finger off okay so we're gonna get a potato peeler and try to do this first Okay, forget the potato piece. Let's try with the knife. Okay, so we've done half of it throw this away so we've got the seeds inside I'm just gonna strip them out with a spoon first Right, I've cut up all the butternut squash. There's quite a lot actually. So what I'm going to do is wash this. I might not add all of it. I might just freeze the rest for another day. Right, so this is what my curry is looking like so far. The meat is cooking really nicely. The onions are getting soft. I'm going to let it cook a bit more before I add the spices. I like my meat to be soft like very soft i hate it when it's really ducked out like hard and you can't even bite into it and it's very chewy i just don't don't like meat like that at all so i'm gonna make it proper soft i might add a bit of water as well by the way adding a little bit of hot boiling water guys and letting that cook a bit more 
So I am going to cut up the uh, baklafata, the coriander, whilst the curry is still cooking. I just like to do the prep beforehand so that I can like put the chopping board away. Try not to cut my finger or nails anymore. By the way, my finger's burning. Like my blood, sweat and tears have literally gone cooking this curry, guys. Literally. So that's the coriander ready to garnish right at the end. I'm just going to leave all of that in a bowl. And yes, Bob's your uncle. powder out and we're gonna get some azira out so four of these we're gonna add guys what's wrong with my husband he's very quiet we had a little argument i'm just gonna have to expose this situation um it was a misunderstanding i was telling mustafa off and he thought i was telling him off and he got upset and Hi there. So I would like to apologize to you, babe, mm. for you thinking that I was telling you off, but I wasn't really telling you off. I did kind of tell you off at the same time. You and your son were really annoying me. Mustafa spilled some drink all over the table. But it was not my fault. It wasn't his fault. And yes, I'm really sorry. Can we be friends again? <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're acting like yeah. Nisaba. <laughs> Anywho, the curry's still cooking. I've like tidied up most of the kitchen so it's all nice and clean. I've got the um, laundry, laundry clothes out hanging outside by the way because it's a beautiful day and we love it when it's sunny so I could um, dry some lovely clothes. Most of us outside. Oh my god he's on the floor look guys. I didn't even notice his trousers are coming off as usual. Mustafa get off the floor. The grass we've got fake grass so it's like carpet he loves it. Let's see what the girls are doing. Hello, Asiya. Wow, this room looks so messy. Asiya had a lovely shower. Can you put the volume down, babes? Asiya had a lovely shower. She needs to uh, brush her hair. Because she looks uh, crazy. She had some noodles over there. And her plate's still there, Asiya. I told you to tidy up after yourself. And what's all these toys and tablets on the floor? Can you pick it up for me, babes? And can you do the hoover for me as well? Do some chores in the house. Yes, all she's been doing is watching telly all day. That's really bad. Let's see where Nuseba is. Nusi? Nusi's not here. I think she's upstairs. So, you guys, we are going to add the spices now because the meat looks nice and soft. The onions are completely dissolved. So, we're going to add a bit more turmeric. We're also going to add the zira powder which is cumin powder i'm gonna add a big heap also we are going to add some donia powder coriander again a really big heap and lastly we are going to add some chili powder morisa powder and i'm gonna add quite a lot actually because when you cook curries with butternut squash or any kind of like sweet vegetable you need the spice to be up like you need it to be more than usual because or it just tastes too sweet and weird i'm gonna give this a really good mix oh my god look at the huge addi i am so gonna eat that so usually i would um, let this cook for a little longer but what i'm gonna do is add the butternut squash because we want the butternut squash to um, cook and soften so I'm not going to add all of it because I feel like there's quite a lot here let's give this a mix and see what it looks like yeah I think that's more than enough I'm going to freeze the rest oh yeah I'm a handy what I see add a little bit more actually because I love this vegetable it's my favorite by the way 
Let me wipe the edge down. I'm gonna have to wipe this because it is giving me anxiety to a um, next level. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna cover this up, let this cook on a uh, medium gas. And I'm gonna keep checking up on it so that it doesn't burn. And then we're also going to add some hot boiling water. So I'm gonna boil some water now. Should I add more? But I'm not supposed to. You don't know you're gonna have to add some water, any? Um, yeah, I will, not now. Should mm. I add more, but I'm not supposed to. It's up to you. What? You left to make a sauce here? I don't know. Yeah, let's add a bit more. There we go. Let's give it a little taste test. Yeah, that tastes quite good. Perfect. The salt is on point. Let's add some hot boiling water, guys. If you want it very shida shida, about that much. And I'm gonna put it on high gas and let it boil properly. Because we want the uh, butternut squash to get really soft. Also the belly ghost, I want it to get softer. So I'm just gonna give it a quick little mix and then cover it up. So you guys, this is what the curry is looking like so far. I'm gonna test one of these guys out and see if it's soft. Yep, the fork goes in really easily. So the butternut squash is really nice and soft. Um, let's check the meat. So we've got a piece of meat here. I'm just gonna pierce it. Yep, that felt quite soft as well. So what I'm gonna do, this is the last stage. I'm going to leave the gas low, so the heat really, really low. I'm going to add some bakhafata, lots of it. And then we're going to cover it up and let it simmer for another five minutes. And it's ready to eat, guys. Oh, my God. I've got the rice on, by the way, so I'm starving. I haven't had lunch again today. Um, so this is going to be, like, my first meal of the day, and I'm so excited. So the rice is cooked. Oh, it's gonna steam me. And I'm gonna plate some rice up onto a plate. About this much. Let's switch the gas off. Curry is fully done now. And let's add some curry to the um, plate and I had lots of shida I need to clean my cooker like proper deep clean it add a bit more and I add some butternut squash because I love butternut squash guys add a bit more shida oh my god that's too much okay this looks like the ultimate plate I've also got a um, limbo guys Bangladeshi limbo on the side hey guys hey guys so today we are going to do hey a guys. taste test on this yummy food look at the rice, rice. it's rice yes so it's really really hot Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. i'm so excited to try this oh my husband's calling me wait hold on right so we're going to test this out now really hot the butternut squash is so soft it's perfect Wow, that is perfect. The spices, the salt, the zal is everything's on point. And by the way, if you guys are not Bengali, we eat our rice and curry with our hands. It just tastes so much better and it's easier because there's a lot of bones and like bits and bobs that are involved. You need to use your hand to like, you know, mix and stuff. So with a spoon, it gets really difficult. Um, but yeah, it's so much easier to eat with your hands and it's tastier, guys. Mmm, mmm. Mustafa, come and have some curry. I'm going to feed the kids after I've eaten. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. 
let me know if you guys love butternut squash like i do bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> saying it don't forget to subscribe like and comment guys and i'll see you guys next time bye bye say bye bye mustafa say bye guys bye guys